Hi, welcome back to the Praxis Test Prep channel. My name is Tasha. I'm a former high school biology teacher, and today I'm going to walk you through some practice problems for the Praxis exam 7813. That is a subtest of the 7811 exam. You will be allowed to use a calculator for this exam, an on-screen calculator. Okay, let's get started. Okay, question one. What number do you need to keep adding if you want to skip count by 10? Okay, so our key numbers here are 10. So if they're gonna ask you to skip count, you're gonna go 10, 20, 30, 40, etc., and keep going on. So our answer is going to be B, 10. Okay, problem two. What are some key components of number recognition and teaching? So our key words here are number recognition and key components. So the first one, concrete, abstract, manip manipulatives, and autonomy don't really have much to do with number recognition. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, these are going to be beyond number recognition, so they'll learn those later. Uh, let's look at D. So dominoes, dice, colored tiles, and colored bears. These are great manipulatives for helping with number recognition, but not the key components. So we're left with visual discrimination, one-to-one -one correspondence, and subitizing. So let's look at what each of those are if they ask you about that. So vis visual discrimination is when you have two similar numbers that look alike. So for instance, six and nine. If a student's able to tell the difference between those two, that's visual discrimination. One to one would be a student counting just one block at a time. So they would pull one block and say one, two, three, etc. Subitizing is when you're going to throw out a group of things, whether it be blocks or whenever manipulative, and then they were to able be able to look at the look at all of the blocks and say that's four blocks. That's subitizing. So our answer is C. Okay, question three, use the number line picture to solve the following problem. Jeff went fishing and caught five silver fish and four brown fish. How many fish did he catch in all? Okay, so let's use this number line to demonstrate to our students. So you're gonna bounce up five times for the five, first five fish and then add an additional four, which is going to give us our answer, which is nine. So our answer is going to be nine fish. Okay, question number four. Use the box method of multiplication to solve this problem. 168 by 45. What is the solution? So we're going to break down both those numbers. So we're going to break down 168 into 100 plus 60 plus 8 on the top there. And then we're going to break down 45 into 40 and 5. Create the table. And then we're going to multiply. So we're going to multiply 40 times 100, which will give us 4,000. We're going to multiply 40 times 60, which will give us 2,400. And we're going to multiply 40 by 8, which will give us 320. Now we're going to do the bottom row. 5 times 100 is 500. 5 times 60 is 300. And 8 times 5 is 40. Now you're going to add across. So 4,000 plus 2,400 plus 320 is 6,720. Add the bottom row across, 500 plus 300 plus 40 is 840. And then you add those two numbers together to give us our final number, which is 7,560, which is letter C. I hope this was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, head over to study.com for more videos. As a study.com member, you get access to hundreds of practice problems like the ones I just walked you through, as well as targeted instruction for some topics you might still be struggling with, along with some test-taking strategies to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if today's video was helpful. In the comments down below, please mention if there's any topics you'd like us to cover next. Good luck and happy studying!